Good evening traders and welcome to Price Action Trading School Time Factor. My name is Nenad and we will review today important time factor. Uh, time factor is actually very important when trading, especially because uh, traders uh, underestimate the power of uh, uh, time. Uh, the thing is that uh, even uh, again was writing about time and proper timing of uh, your trades and especially in today's market conditions it has been uh, very very important. Uh, the main point when uh, choosing a time uh, when to trade and when to stay out of the market should be always always important to you because if you make an entry that is uh, pretty much illogical when compared to time factor, it can definitely make it a wrong one. For example, today you might uh, see that price has been ranging most of the time and the chance is that if you trade it today, uh, you would probably uh, be trapped in, in, uh, in a range. And that will always happen before FOMC and uh, then usually when, when it happens there is 50-50% of chance that your trade might uh, go in your desired direction. And that is because time factor is one of the things that should be incorporated into your trading plan. So we will talk about this today. This will be very important for our trading and especially for your price action trading school because Many traders, many analysts, and many I mean analysts, many forex educators will simply negate and skip this important part of trading. And we will not skip it. We will be we will be actually using it in our both trading and price section trading school. So this is a very important lesson and very important part for all future price section traders and not just price action but also traders who want to succeed in forex market before we begin standard risk disclaimer explaining all associated risk with forex market by accepting this risk disclaimer you're proceeding further with me Armour market you kill Armour market you ltd will take no responsibility for the information accuracy this is solely my opinion and forex is risky business so this should not be taken as advice it's a personal opinion only, so this webinar is for informational and educational purposes. Download Armour Market Supreme Edition by logging into your trader's room. You can also go at this address and check web trader platform. That will definitely be very helpful to your trading. Don't forget that Armour Markets is officially best MT4 broker. So today's agenda will cover a time factor, best trading hours, and when actually when to stay out. So time factor is, as I said, it's very important for making decisions. So let's say that you were trading today and let's say that you probably saw my analysis of Euro dollar and you see that Euro dollar is indeed rejecting from POC zone as planned. So everything goes according to our plan. But the main problem is what happens if we are stuck in a trade? So let's say that you were following today's analysis and that you had actually taken uh, the entry that I presume today and, and I analyzed it uh, some time ago, also like two, three days ago. And I said strictly, I was very, very clear with this, I said that uh, this is actually POC point and that we can see actual rejections. And we indeed are seeing rejections from this spot. But uh, that's not the problem. The problem can happen if we are stuck in a trade. And what it means that, let's say that you have taken the entry and you are five pips in profit. And you probably ask yourself, what should I do? Should I close the trade? Should I, uh, should I actually take these five pips? Or should I risk and wait for FOMC to give me maybe 100 pips instead of five pips? Well, guys, uh, the answer, again, the answer uh, lies within yourself and your trading psychology. I would probably say, okay, if you have five pips and you know that, or ten pips, it doesn't matter, and you know that FOMC is due in one hour and 45 minutes, <clears throat> my advice is always take the profits. Because 
that is what really this is very very important lesson and important webinar because time factor will decide about your profit or a loss okay so if you know that I'm sure that you know that FOMC will happen in two hours or an hour and 35 40 minutes is it better to take 10 pips now or actually risk because when FOMC kicks in movements will be huge guys okay and I mean literally huge you can be spiked out in a single second and what it means it means time factor this is what no one has ever told you no one has ever usually people will say don't trade before the news it's not just before the news time factor is a bit more than news okay so we take we, we, we only took today and we mentioned only FOMC but what about other things yeah we will be mentioning also those things during this webinar so at this point, I, I, fo I am focused on FOMC because that will be the major release today. And that will be the news, the, the release that will move the market by a huge extent, guys. Okay? So don't add, underestimate the power of time factor. It should be incorporated into your trading plan. So as with your system, as with your risk, as with your money management, Time factor should have an important part, an imp a very important part of your trading, guys. Okay? So it's always better to close the trade when you, knew, when you notice something big is going to happen than it's actually leaving the trade going on. So it's very important to, for making decisions. If you don't do it, chances are that you're a bit of gambler, right? Because you, you, you don't want to take minus 10 or plus 10 pips. You actually want to risk, right? Think about this. And I know that you, at least once in your life you have experienced this, what I'm talking about now. Major sessions are also important, guys. You want to trade major sessions, okay? That is also the part of, a part of your time factor bullet point. Time factor is decisive. It's very, very important for your, for your understanding of entries and exits. You want to make an entry during major session. You don't want to make entries during major session intervals. Now, major sessions are London, New York, and Tokyo. Remember that, guys. There are no other major sessions. Major session are major market opens. London, New York, London, New York overlap, and Tokyo. No Australia. No New Zealand. No Frankie or Frankfurt. Those are not major sessions. Major sessions are again London, New York. Of course, London and New York overlap, and Tokyo. Only those three sessions. Major session intervals happen during these major sessions. And those intervals are usually after three hours of major session. Okay? So the first three hours of each major session is when market is moving. Okay. After those three hours, there will be some breaks, and those breaks are usually for either profit taking or continuation. Now imagine this, and you will know what I'm talking about. You are in a trade, and let's say that you have taken your trade during London open and you are like 50 pips in profit but it's like fourth hour of London and what it might happen is major session interval so it will be maybe a London lunch right London lunch break that is also very important to understand 
usually around let's say 10 GMT it's 11 GMT plus 1 London time something will happen either a reversal usually you will see that price is starting to reverse or you might have end up in, in a additional profit usually it's reversal so probably that you your trade has been stuck into a major session interval if it's long the lunch chances that there will be a profit taking and your trend trade instead of 50 pips will drop to 25 pips of profit usually you will notice it right I know that you you have noticed it at least once or twice during your trading career but I see it every day what I tend to do is actually profit uh, I profit stop my trade because I don't know whether London lunch break will be enough to actually uh, put me in a drawdown instead of profit or give me additional spike to the upside I usually do a profit stop so I put a stop loss at 20 30 pip depending on entry and I simply am not I don't care anymore so if you bump into a major session interval the chance is that there will be it, it will be twofold either your trade will be will will, exp, will be reversed so instead of taking some money you you will end up in a loss or if you are already in a loss you might end up having a small profit because of that reversal that usually happens during major session interval let's say London lunch and usually it's due to profit taking so what I suggest is protect your profits put your stop loss to break even or simply said just protect your trade however you see it fit okay whatever you see fit try to protect your trade that is very important part of your trading now again guys what can happen is actually end of day don't open trades during end of day end of day is usually when London market close closes and let's say two hours after it there will still be some movement but you will end up in end of day trading and your trades will go nowhere guys I know that it, they they will go nowhere that is the fact and simply if you do that if you don't listen to my advice there is a big chance that your trade will be stopped out when when major session kicks in I know that because it happened to me a lot of times and I'm talking from my personal experience so if you if you end up opening your trade at the end of day so let's say in two hours we and let's say that there is no FOMC so if there is no major news major news like major event like FOMC there will be no movement and you will be stuck in a range so now is the time to actually take the profit or profit stop your trade because if we if we didn't have FOMC in two hours simply said there wouldn't be any movement guys and you will be stuck in your trade and you will be waiting for major market open and that is well after midnight you should talk you and that will give you some some maybe profit or or maybe a loss so end of day trades are a no no okay we don't make end of day trades this is uh, the example of a good forex market converter I use it I will show you also my chart and also you have an admiral market uh, supreme edition okay you have a session map okay and that is very good because for new traders it's especially useful because it shows 
which session you're trading in. Ilya, let's say, saying he's in profit with Euro dollar long, 11.95, he is like 35, 40 pip in profit. What I would say is either trade, take your profit, scale out, or put your trade to break even. That is important, guys, okay? That is very important. So either take your profits completely, take the half of your profit and put the rest to break even, or put your trade to, let's say, plus 35, uh, 30, 35 pip in profit and place your stop loss on 35 pip profit. That is what I would suggest. Because if you wait for a candle spike on FOMC, you don't know which way it will go. FOMC can go and can spike euro dollar up in a second, or it can spike it down just to be reversed after two or three minutes. So don't gamble, okay? Protect your trades, else you might end up in a profit. Don't be greedy. Guys, I'm talking, I know why you lose in trading. It's not simply because you don't have a system. It's because you are greedy. You want to take every possible chance of the market. You want to, to exploit the market to the fullest. Well, guys, if anyone before me had told you about time factor, you wouldn't have been doing this. Because you don't need to trade when trade is not to be taken. And that is why time factor is of utmost importance. So FOMC, you are in profit. If you want to gamble, leave your trade. But if you want to be professional, Take the half of your trade, put a stop to, uh, put a, a rest to break even or use a profit stop. Okay, I don't mind taking every single pip before the news because market will give me another chance to trade, guys. It will be another day tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Why risk? Because you will maybe end up in a good profit today but next time you will end up in a loss. And if you do that, you are developing a bad habit and you don't want to do that. So this is what you should pay attention. If you don't know which market you are trading in, what, where you are, if you are confused with all these markets, if you are a new trader, this will be of a good help to you guys. Believe me, this is very good. I have used it. And simply said, guys, okay, simply said, we will move on to live chart and I will show you, okay, I will uh, show you here, okay, the, here, yeah. Forex market time converter, how do I determine my time zone? Well, my time zone is actually GMT plus 2. So this is what you do also, this is what you do. Determine your state, your city, okay, so I'm Europe GMT plus 2, okay. It doesn't matter, everything is great, Belgrade, Zagreb, whatever, everything is the same time zone. So, 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 let's see what, what is the, the, the same, for me it's the same. So, here guys, my time zone, my time is 6.20 now, okay, it's, it's actually GMT plus 2. And where you want to trade is actually, you see London, London, New York overlap but it's end of day because you see London has closed now and you probably saw some profit taking during this London close you saw some uh, yen pairs going down because of profit taking and yeah for let's say Australian dollar yen went up and now last couple of hours it started to go down that's because of profit taking so you don't want to trade Australia you want to take trade in to, uh, during Tokyo session. Tokyo session will begin 1 a.m. my time, okay, so this is where I can trade. And you can do it too, so you can pick your time zone, let's say you are in uh, London time zone, uh, Europe London time zone, it's GMT plus one, so this is the time in London now, and you see it's different time for them. Tokyo starts at 12 a.m. So, guys, this is important. Really, this is very important for you to know, okay? And also, what, imp what important thing is uh, on Admiral Markets, uh, 
Anmer Market Supreme Edition. You can actually see. Uh, you you can actually. I will show you now. You can actually use a session map here. Okay, this is my FX book. Let's see session map here. See session map. It shows where we are. Okay, so pay attention to it. It's very important. So best trading hours, guys. London, New York. London, New York overlap. First three hours of each session. So first three hours of London, New York, okay, and Tokyo session. Major sessions only. Don't forget it. Major sessions only. Okay. This is of utmost importance. So London first three hours, New York first three hours, London, New York overlap first three hours of each session, major sessions. If you are stuck in a trade during this session because you have stumbled into a major session interval like London lunch or some form of profit taking or pre-news when market is actually ranging, it's always better to take profits than to make additional risks in the market. Believe me guys, it's much it's it's much better. When to stay out during bank holidays, okay guys, you don't want to take any trades during bank holidays because bank holidays are actually when no one is defending support and resistance levels, so you don't want to trade. Before the news, important news, or red news, how we call it, if it's, uh, if it's uh, uh, let's say, not so important news, you might actually dare to take a trade. So it needs to be actually uh, not so important news and you will be able to take a trade. So bank holiday, no trade, before major news like FOMC, unless you want to trade a spike, but then, guys, you don't, you shouldn't have any uh, big position unless you want to trade the new spike. So if you know that FOMC is coming, take out your profits or protect your profits. Because else you will be gambling, guys. You will be gambling. You don't know what might happen. Okay? Also, what is very important is speeches. You don't want to risk anything if there is a conference. FOMC will, will, it will provide a statement. But very often there will be some speech after it, uh, it's so-called news conference, where chief of central bank will make, a, they will provide various answers and insights for reporters, or there will be conference where they would answer some important questions about their own economy. So if you know that Fed Chief Yellen is speaking, you don't want to take any dollar trades. Actually, you might be out because equities will also move. So equities will move also forex market. So, but the, the thing is that uh, you might be exposed to other pairs that are not so exposed to a speech. Let's say if you trade a dollar, well, then it's up to you whether you will leave your positions. But it might actually be better to trade Australian dollar, New Zealand. Or if you know that uh, ECB President Draghi is having a news conference, check the calendar and see if that news conference is indeed important. If it's not important, then you can leave your trade. If it's important, then it might affect Euro pairs. But guys, that I say, there is usually when there is a speech key coming in on where something important is going to happen. It won't do any, actually it won't do any bad if you try to actually 
close your trade before an actual announcement. Or if you still want to trade, then you need to be sure that uh, actually there won't be anything bad coming from the speech itself. So if it's a simple conference about uh, the climate or where, let's say, ECB president is a guest, he will talk about some events that are not so important for the economy, then you might be exposed, actually. But if you know that there is ECB, FOMC, BOJ, RBA conference, then don't make any positional trades. If you're in a trade, you're stuck in a trade, then put a stop loss. But if you are in a profitable trade, take your position out. It might be good for you in the long run. Okay, in the long run. Also, during erratic periods, guys, you don't want to trade during erratic periods. Okay, there will be times where a currency is moving differently from normal. Perhaps it's spiking and you don't know why. Okay, if that happens, usually it's because there is some unscheduled news that has been released or leaked. Let's say, think about it last couple of days where we saw a lot of GBP polls coming in, kicking out. And those polls actually made huge movement in the market. And that is the time where you actually want to stay out, not to trade. Well, at least GBP pairs. Because uh, euro pairs, dollar pairs were not so affected as GBP dollar, GBP yen. Okay? Also, think about weekend carryovers. It's unadvisable to hold trades over the weekend unless your method is a long-term strategy which specifically involves holding trades for longer time frames such as weeks or months. A lot can happen over the weekend. Okay? All it would take is for one bank to go bust over the weekend for your position to go completely different from how you expected. A terrorist attack could happen over the weekend, which would also move the market crazy. Okay? But guys, this might seem out of the normal, but if you look these events, those happened recently, re really recently on more than a single occasion. So these types of events will generally lead to the market opening again with a large gap and generally with a large change in your position. A lot of times this can cause serious harm to your trading account. Also market close open. Good idea is to avoid market close or open because if you make a position during a market close or market open, well, it can be a very bad position. Why? Because at market close, a number of trading positions are actually being closed. So this will lead to volatility in the currency markets and can cause the price to move erratically. The same applies at market open. A lot of people are opening positions as they do not want to hold them over the weekend for the reasons that we talked about. December or summer holidays, Banks tend to trade the forex market at least once a day for balance sheet reasons and can trade a number of times throughout the day for speculation reasons. Think about it also. It's very important. Think about it, guys. Lunch time, okay, that is, uh, let me say just, I, I mentioned balance sheet reasons, okay, December, summer, balance sheet. When I say balance sheet, I mean to balance out their currency book. So they need a certain amount of each currency to meet the demand of their customers. They are both personal and business. That will need to buy foreign currency from the bank or exchange their foreign currency for their local currency. Banks have to balance this out each day. Otherwise, they leave themselves open to foreign exchange risks. And this also makes banks major players 
in the forex market. And during December and summer, a lot of bank staff take their, the, their holidays. Therefore, forex market generally slow down because there are fewer participants in marketplace. And that is generally a good time for private traders, retail traders to take a holiday. If the markets are flat, there is no point in trading. Go enjoy the sun. You need to be in prime fighting conditions and holidays are also part of giving your mind some relaxing time and you need to incorporate it into your trading plan. Lunchtime also very important is lunchtime hour for each of the major markets, namely London, Tokyo, New York. When there is a lunchtime, you will see signs of market reversal because professional traders who have the ability to influence the market need to square their positions so they can go out for lunch. Okay? What you do is close your trades around lunchtime and, or stay in a trade, play, placing a profit stop or making a stop loss definite. You don't move it. So lunchtime is the time, usually it's London, it's not so obvious, it's not so important during New York or, or, or Tokyo, but London. Martin is saying market close opens one or two hour. Well, usually, well, market opens at, let's say, one hour before Tokyo session. So you uh, simply said, Martin, you need to wait for a Tokyo session. Check your time zone and check when your ses Tokyo session starts. So when market opens, you wait for Tokyo session. Tokyo session is the session you want to trade. Okay? Market close, I mean, I already told you it's London close. So when London market close, closes, you can trade two more hours, usually making scalp, scalp swings. But don't make any position trades after two hours after London market close. Okay? So lunchtime reversals, okay? It can happen, as I say, some form of reversal that will look like a retracement. Okay? That is what you actually use for taking a simple trend trade after reversal. If you see that your trade is starting to reverse, protect it. Then there will be another chance to go again into the trend direction. So close trades around lunchtime or put a protective stop. Switch to intraday positioning. So it means that if you are in profit, take your profit, let's say half of your profit, and make it an intraday trade. So simply put, put the rest to break even and wait. Profit taking can happen around daily range levels news. So if you see that the price is stuck in a range and there is a London lunch time, if it's at the top of the range, chances that it, it will go down. If it's at the bottom of the range, chances that it will go up. And profit taking usually happens around daily range levels. Okay? It's also important to watch for New York Stock Exchange. New York Stock Exchange is approximately at 13.30 p.m. GMT. 13.30 GMT. It's 1.30 p.m. GMT, 13.30. Okay, remember the date. On my time zone, it's 15.30. And the thing is, usually Americans will buy equities and yen pairs will go up. There is a time when you can try for a breakout rate. So New York Stock Exchange, okay, it opens at this time and it's good for taking small scalps 
or, or breakout trades. Okay? Sometimes the market will be slow. If you see that market is very slow, it means that something is happening. Market is waiting for something. Don't forget Forex options, guys. Forex options expire between 9.30, 10.30 a.m. Eastern, Eastern time. It's 13.30 GMT, like New York Stock Exchange. And you will see some strong market movements because dealers are trying to move the market before the options expire. Be careful as the dealers might push the market to a price point and exercise the options and then price reverses. Okay? So, you can also watch for options. Frankie Fake happens one hour prior to London session. So, Frankie Fake tends to turn the price in a contra direction, then it's a London. That is why we traders call it Frankie fake. So the movement is usually fake. If the market goes down during Frankfurt Frankie fake, it usually goes up on London Open. Okay? Also, guys, as I say, uh, just watch that when equity market jitters. Equities will be moved by some events. And if you see that DEX is going up, you know that there might be an impending trade on Euro Dollar or let's say ODN. Also, not each session is for each pair. You need to know what kind of movement to expect during each major trading session. For instance, most European currencies will move in a range during Asia session. And when you see the range identified, you can enter trades at top or the bottom of the range. The principle behind why these currency pairs move in a range is based on liquidity. When there isn't enough liquidity to move a currency pair, let's say such as Euro dollar during Asia session, movements are confined in a range. So in, in Euro dollar will not move a lot during Asia session. Pound yen, yen pairs, Australian and New Zealand pairs will simply move better due to that liquidity. Also pre-FOMC, pre-NFP, the price tends to be slow and usually stuck in a range. When that happens, you need to be very careful about thinking what I already said. Either taking your profits or protect, protecting your profits. Okay? Think about it. Okay? And now we will move on to live chart and see what happened today. And that will be actually this webinar. So you can ask me if anything is not clear. Okay? Because Next time, okay, you need, we will have an ATR session, ATR webinar, how to apply ATR. I have my own indicator for ATR, and I will show you how to do it because you will also be using it in price section training school and later. And simply, if you did, don't understand anything, something that, I, that I, I, I've been speaking, or if you don't know about these things, be free to send me an email and I will, of course, respond. And yet again, let's see Euro dollar today. I already told you it's very important to know which session you're trading in and that market is waiting for FOMC. So see here market is actually we will go to one hour chart. See, this is the range today, not a big range, because the market is expecting the news. And you will usually see this before any major news release. See ODN, everything is mo usually very simple. 
pound yen was great mover for today okay on good news pound spiked up and then probably because market is waiting for FOMC it started to reverse so you see the price is very slow and it wasn't the case for the last couple of days see so think about this again I'm mentioning the time factor is very important you should always know when to enter the market when to protect your trade and that is one of vital par parts of trading if you trade the first hour three hours of each session the chances are that you will end up in profit but simply say don't over trade if you know that you if you if you know that your way of trading is successful don't over trade wait for another day because there will be another opportunity so this was all guys if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask me I hope that you enjoy the webinar it's very important for understanding of price flow and simply said uh, there is no system that can that will tell you how to trade profitably if the system does not have a time factor included so that is why I would never tell you to trade at noon let's say why would you trade at 10 11 GMT or let's say if market opens at 7 GMT London let's say it opens at 7 GMT you would actually like to trade at and prefer to trade at 7 8 and 9 GMT so the first three hours of each session are uh, profitable now Ron is saying it might be too much for someone with nine to five job well Ron that is why we use part-time trading strategies or Ron if you have a nine to five time job try to scalp the market scalping will take five to ten minutes if you you I'm sure that you can find 10 15 minutes during your day job to scalp the market okay before nine well you can yes you can scalp you know because scalping is different guys this is what we've been talking about it's usually for positional trades okay so it doesn't apply to scalping you can scalp pre FOMC you can scalp pre NFP you can scalp on each major session you can scalp even before 9 a.m. during Frank, Frankie fake because scalping is 10 pips only right what you need actually for scalping is movement so if you see that market is moving and market will be moving during Frankie fake during uh, I don't know Tokyo session definitely you might scalp so this webinar today time factor mostly applies to intraday positioning for scalping it's much easier and yes you can part-time trade with applying scalping option because if you have 15 20 minutes available try to scalp the market because on some day jobs you are free to do whatever you want if you do your assignments so if your bo boss tells you to do five different assignments and you do it why would anyone object for you to take maybe a few scalping trades that is guys what I did before I started to trade Forex market I, I was hiding from my boss to actually trade the market and it made me a successful trader and analyst because I was intensively doing the analysis trying to understand every single bit of price I do my assignment and I'm free to do whatever I want and I used it for actually digging deeper and deeper in Forex market back in 10,000, 6, 7 
so long time ago. So you can also do it on your day job. Whatever you do, well, my, my day job back in, in, in 10, 11 years ago is, was still connected to economy, okay? But in a different way. But the, the main thing is I know that I have, because I also have some friends who are, who are working other, on other jobs and they love to scalp market few pips here and there during their day jobs. So important thing is that you do your own assignments on your day job and if you're free to, let's say, use a PC or computer or have some free time, I'm sure that you, you have some free time on your day job. Why not try to part-time scalp the market? It's okay, guys. Okay, so even now, guys, I am fully into Forex market, doing analysis, doing uh, webinars, doing uh, uh, now with this Brexit thing. There are a lot of webinars that we will have about Brexit, Chris and I together, also Forex Street webinars. And I'm still, I still manage to trade here and there. Let's say that last month, I've been very, very busy and I didn't really, I, I couldn't made myself to trade because I was very busy. But I still managed to actually scalp few pips here and there, guys. Even I, who, I, 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 I've been working like 12 hours really per day. So many things to cover, so many people to help. And I, I managed to make three or four scalping trades during last month. So guys, Simply said, there always will be time to take a trade, but you know which kind of trade, whether it's a scalping trade or intraday position or intra or intra week swing. This webinar time factor apply to intraday trading, and after we finish with price action trading school, we will have live trading webinars also, where I will be posting and teaching you how to apply all that to your trading to your trading uh, template price section okay but we need to cover all of these factors before we go to a live trading webinars thank you again guys for listening i will be here with you soon uh, pay attention to fomc and don't forget the time factor cheers and as always trade safe